As a member of the Genome Forum, I keep reading mails from people who've bought their new memory craft combination sewing embroidery machine or an embroidery only machine. And unfortunately, the manuals that go with it don't give detailed explanations on how to transfer designs from their computer to their embroidery machines. Now, if you by their software, you do get detailed instructions. So I'm going to start right at the beginning. And right at the beginning is creating a folder specifically for your embroidery designs. Do that in XP, and I can't show you in Windows 7 because I haven't upgraded yet. You right click into an empty spot on your desktop and you tell it new folder. Then you immediately rename that new folder and I'm going to call it embroidery or embroidery designs. Would help if I spelt it correctly but never mind. Then I'm going to open it and you can see there's nothing in it whatsoever. So I right click in here and I tell it new folder. I'll just call that one folder one. That'll do just for now. Right click again. New folder. Folder two. Just for the sake of speed. Then make another one. And you might think, why so many? Well, I'll show you in a moment. So you've bought your embroidery design. It's come to you in a zip from an email or, now I've been using this site for, ooh, quite a long while, since 2004. And I've got quite a few designs that I've bought. So I'm going to look at the very first two that I ever bought. And I bought an Irish Santa and a Santa and motorbike. So I'm going to download that one. Oh, I didn't want the email. Never mind. Zipped. Save. And it comes up with my desktop. So I navigate to my embroidery designs. I open it. And I'm going to put it in folder 1. It's gone. So I'm just going to diminish this. And I'm going to go to embroidery designs. Folder 1. Right click on this. And I use an unzip utility. I never use embroidery software for unzipping files. Embroidery software, even though it's a file management system, is not an unzipping application. I prefer to use applications that were intended for a specific use. So I'm going to ask it to extract to, and that's the number of the zip. And there's my design. I'm now going to pop that zip in there, open this up, and there is my motorbike. Right, that's that step done. Now, if you've got Digitizer Pro MB version 3 or Digitizer Pro version 3, open your program. At the top you will see you have got a machine filter. Now. It's very important that you understand how the machine filter works. If you've got the 11,000, you must tell it you've got the 11,000. If you've got, as I have, 10,001 version 3, that's the old 10,000 upgraded to the 10,001, I put that in there. And you'll notice here now I've got a hoop, whereas in the other machine, 11,000, select a different hoop for your machine. So what machines have we got? We've got the 11,000, 10,001, 10,000 version 3, 10,000 version 2.21, the M9700, M9500, M300E, M350E, M200E, MB4 and other for any other machine. You pick the right one. Now I'm going to open that design, Embroidery Designs, Folder 1. When I first open, there's nothing. 
And the reason there's nothing is because what's in here is a stitch file, not an object file. So I press Jeff in my files of type, which opens this, Jeff. I click on that number and I bring it in. And there it is in my hoop. Now I want to write this to a compact flashcard and I have made the ultimate sacrifice. I have totally cleared my compact flashcard. But before I do that, I'm going to save this. Save as Santa's Bike Jeff because it's a stitch file. It's not an object file. So then I go to External Media. Oh, before I do that, I just want to show you my computer. Compact flashcard, empty. It's not formatted. There is nothing on it. Digitizer MB, external media, writer design. Now it's looking for my compact flashcard and it has put my folders onto that completely unformatted compact flashcard. I click on number five. I tell it open. That's the inside of my embroidery folder 5. I tell it write. I'm going to close this screen. External media. Read, write or erase. Embroidery folder 5. Open. There is my design. Right there. It's on my embroidery compact flashcard which was unformatted and it's all ready to send to my machine. I'm going to delete that because I don't really want it there. Yes. Thank you. Close. All I have to do now is take that compact flashcard when I have a design written to it. I'm going to open that design again. Santa's bike. Open it. There we go. Only this time, I'm going to tell it I want a different machine. MC11000. I'm going to tell it write to external media. The selected hoop is not supported on the target machine. Please select a different hoop before writing the design. And that's because I haven't married my machine and my hoop together. So, I tell it, OK, I want the RE hoop, external writer design. Now, this time, it's formatted my card to take an EMBF folder because I've told it I'm using the MC11000 not the 10,000. I open it and it's looking for a compact flashcard or a USB. It's found the compact flashcard so I tell it right. OK. External media. Write designs. Read or erase. Let's open that and there it is on my compact flashcard. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to tell it bin it. Are you sure you want to bin the folder? Yeah, I don't have an 11,000. So I close that. Some of you don't have software. Well, the answer to that is also quite simple. Save changes to Santa's bike. No. You put your card into your embroidery machine and it will ask you, do you want to format it? And you say yes. And you answer yes to every prompt. Even though it's going to say to you, I'm going to erase everything on your card. You say, that's fine. Erase it. I'm not bothered. You go into the folder with your design. You open it. We'll highlight Santa's bike. We'll right click and we'll say copy. I'm going to close that. I'm going to go to my computer, 
my CF card and this is the folder for the 11,000 or the folder for Embroidery Folder 5 for my 10,000. So I'm going to put it in my 10,000 folder and I'm just going to say Paste. I do not drag or drop and the reason I don't drag and drop is because when you drag and drop you run the risk of corrupting the stitch data inside this file. So then I close that. I can then take my card, pop it into the adapter, pop the adapter into my embroidery machine, bring up the compact flash card by using the icons on the machine and my design will be there waiting for me to use it. Now I hope that goes some way towards helping those of you who've just bought machines and don't know how to transfer your designs. If you've got Customizer 10,000 Plus, Customizer 11,000, Janome Digi Pro Junior, Janome Digitizer Pro MB or Plain Digitizer Pro version 2 or 3, those programs will automatically format your cards for you. You don't have to do anything. If you don't have the software, you must format your cards in your embroidery machines.